President Trump will depart the White House Wednesday after four tumultuous years that will be defined by a mob riot and bipartisan impeachment vote in his final weeks in office. There has been no public victory lap for Trump, whose last days in the White House have instead been defined by silence, in no small part because of a Twitter ban on his favorite form of social media imposed after the riot at the Capitol. The president will not attend President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on Wednesday. He is expected to depart Washington, D.C., that morning and attend a military ceremony at Joint Base Andrews before leaving for Florida. Advisors say Trump will spend an extended period of time in the Sunshine State, surrounded by a small circle of close aides as he plots his next steps. The president is still expected to issue additional ceremonial honors, as he has done in recent days behind closed doors, and he may still grant pardons to allies on his way out the door. A White House spokesperson declined to comment on specific plans for the final days of his term. Losing access to social media platforms has reduced Trump's ability to get out any kind of farewell message, and it has cast uncertainty on how influential he will be upon leaving office. Jason Miller, a senior advisor to the Trump campaign who remains in touch with the president, said it was, too soon, to say for certain how exactly the president would proceed politically once he departs the White House. He's doing well, Miller said of Trump. Obviously he'd rather have access to all his social media platforms than not, but he also realizes this is a massive overreach by big tech, and this makes people more interested in what he has to say. Quote. 